Nikel, the owner tells me during the summer he was in the process of selling his business to another person. That ended up recently falling through. And when I spoke to the owner today on the phone, he said he's going to try to determine the best way that he can get people back their belongings. But some people I spoke to say they're already at, at a loss. I was just disappointed in how things came to conclusion and to me it's all about customer service, right? I mean, you know, there was no effort. Lewis Metz has called Meridianville home for more than 30 years now. Throughout the years, Sneed's Cleaners was his go-to for freshly pressed and clean clothing. They were always reliable and dependable. Uh, I was a satisfied customer. That's until one day he walked up to the doors and it was locked shut. Heritage, Sneeds, and Sneeds 2 all permanently closed. I was like, hey, you know, <laughs> what's going on? Oh, I didn't realize if there was any warning associated with them shutting down. I, I missed all that because of the long pauses between coming by. Dozens of customers emailing our newsroom with the same message. To this day, mounds of clothing pieces can still be seen through the window at Sneeds on Maston Lake. For Mets, he's throwing the towel, but others, they want their belongings. I'm fortunate enough, I mean, it wasn't like it was my entire wardrobe. Well, here's the thing, they have our phone numbers, right? I mean, and in most cases, it's our cell phone numbers. I mean, so give us a little effort here. When I spoke to the owner earlier today, he said in the next couple, two to maybe four days, he's going to get in touch with his lawyer to see the best way he can determine giving out the clothings that are still sitting inside these dry cleaners. When we have that information, we'll put it on our website for you. It's waytv.com. Reporting live in Madison County, Olivia Schuler, Way 31 News.